Suppose you have a large number of folders and files under a complex nested tree structure like this. Like this. See you can see the structure See, this is a very complex structure of folders and files and this would be normal for someone who has a large number of clients. And now our issue is we would often face a situation to weed out some old files. and. Uh, before destroying such files you would need to archive it but in such a complex tree structure when some random files or folders are removed uh, you would have to retain that tree structure in order to trace it back or access it when it is needed uh, see let us uh, see how that can be attained in a very simple manner. First, right click on recycle bin and take properties. Uh, see whether recycle bin has been enabled and see the size of the recycle bin, allotted size uh, for recycle bin. Uh, that should be sufficient for uh, the files uh, file structure you are going to delete next empty recycle bin rename uh, our main folder to you can give any other name this is just for convenience and clarity now simply open the folder and delete whatever files that are no longer needed files or folders whatever it is suppose I am deleting this one then this entire folder this file this folder and this folders so now we have deleted a bunch of files and folders and those folders are uh, now in the recycle bin the deleted folders and files are in recycle bin now rename the original folder to now we have renamed that original folder to folder to retain now simply go to recycle bin select all and restore now what happens is a folder called main folder will be created automatically and all the deleted files and folders will be restored to that folder now we are renaming that to folder to backup now you can see that all the files and folders that were deleted would be there and only the files deleted will files and folders deleted will be available there we can see the tree structure 
see only this much files and folders are available and that those are the files and folders that we deleted and now you can back up this or archive this folder to a different location so that this tree structure will be preserved.